In this video, Jerry Ann Lawson is going to show you how to set up your blocks for the 60 or 100 meter dash appropriately. You can see here that he sends the front part of the blocks about a foot off of the start line. He's then going to make sure that his blocks are pointed in the, straight down the track in the middle of the lane. He sets his front peg approximately two feet back from the start line and his back peg approximately three of his feet back from the start line. The idea here is to set up our pegs to create good angles of our knees in the set position. So you may have to play with this distance a little bit. Jerry then steps on his blocks to make sure that they won't slide as he pushes in his start. Notice here that Jerry does a very light ballistic stretch before getting into the blocks. We do not want to hold a static stretch for a long time when getting into these positions. We want to be able to produce as much power as possible and being ballistic in every movement that we do. You can see here in this block setup that Jerrion does a good job of keeping his arms straight up and down. We're looking for four points of equal pressure in the start position. In order to do that, we have to set up appropriately in the resting position. Jerrion's front leg or left leg is slightly inside of his left arm where he could swing that knee back and forth freely without hitting his left arm. You can also see here that Jerrion's lower back is pushed down in what we call our fat man position. Here he's trying to push his belly down toward the track and drop his left knee low. You can also see here that Jerrion does a good job of resting his head in a lowered position. What we talk about in the block start is relaxed aggression. So lowering the head in a relaxed position is crucial. So, while doing the fat man in the resting position, we then come to set, taking a slight inhale, tightening our core. At this point, we lock in the top part of our set position. Notice here that Jerrion's arms are straight up and down like pillars. He's not too far forward or too far backward. His front leg has a 90 degree bend in his knee and his back leg is roughly 120 degrees. The other important thing to note here is a relatively flat back and both feet are fully against the pedals. We want four points of equal pressure with not too much weight on our hands and not too much weight on our feet. This gives us the most powerful position possible to drive down the track horizontally. On each step coming out of the blocks, we want to push fully through the back leg. What we're trying to do is draw a straight line from the top of the head down through the hip all the way through the back foot. So with that, we want full extension coming off the first step, the second step, the third step, the fourth step, all the way through approximately seven to 10 steps as much as possible.